right, uh, Vol Force One here. This is, I think I'm up to episode 20 of my Coach Mode Dynasty. I'm still the offensive coordinator with Washington State, and we are getting ready to head into the 2016 season. I did have a couple of questions about my sliders, so I thought I would just kind of show you guys what I work off of. Um, this is the, the AI sliders. This is, um, um, I think it's for the, yeah, this is for the user. And this is a screenshot. Uh, unfortunately, I can't really, I play the game off the computer, off of the RPCS3, so it's hard to show you to play while also recording the video. Uh, I've, tr I've tried to do it using the Xbox gaming thing on the, on the that comes with the laptop, but it uh, the sound is just not very good. So <clears throat> I'm recording this with OBS, but I can't do OBS and my emulator at the same time, so so this is a screenshot, but you can see um, how I have my slider set up for the user. Quarterback accuracy is obviously down at to five. Um, pass blocking at fifty-five, uh, catching forty, and y you can see those there. These I got from um, there's a user named Johnny Law Dog on the OS Operation Sports forums. So it's all it's pretty much straight, exactly the way he had them posted. And they mostly produce pretty realistic results, as, as far as I can tell. Um, I, I, with a, you know, with a video game, you're never going to get entirely uh, realistic, I suppose, especially not on the PS3 versions. Um, but uh, I, I feel like you know it gets me the closest that you can. And um, the truth is, in the game, passing is easy. I don't want to say easy. I don't know what the right word there is, but it's it's uh, probably. Um, it's overblown a little bit, I guess. You know, if I if I had the quarterback accuracy at fifty, I'd probably complete complete ninety five percent of my passes, even with the quarterback accuracy as five, and the pass coverage is ninety five. Which uh, you'll see the uh, the AI is 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 mostly the same, right? And there's I think the only real difference is punt accuracy. Um, the punt accuracy for the user is a little higher. And um, yeah, the CPU punt accuracy is 45, so that's the difference. And then field goal accuracy, the uh, a the computer's field goal accuracy is a little higher. Um, other than that, though, the other settings are the same as you can see. Um, like this is the user, that's the CPU. Their um, yeah, so their pass coverage is 95, even with it at 95, and the quarterback accuracy for me at five. I still, if you guys watch my videos, I still complete around 70 to 80 percent of my passes. Now, partly that's because of my style of play, but it's also partly just because of passing in the game. Um, and I refuse to change. I mean, the, the way I play is kind of the it's my it's how I, I like to watch football. So I'm not going to change how I want to play just because the the flaws in the game. So, um, so yeah, so those are the sliders, and you're welcome to use those. Um, I, again, I th I'll post a link in the comments to the Johnny Law Dog forum uh, post where you can actually see everything he puts up. One place I am a little different than him, I believe, is the um, rules. So, <clears throat> and again, I stole these from somewhere else. I don't remember where, um, but you know, I didn't, I didn't make these. But I, you know, most you know most of the penalties are, are heightened. Um, the face mask might be a little high. I, I, face mask gets called a little too much, so I've thought about lowering that, and I might um, because I, I I don't know. It, it feels like I've I, right now I'm only playing offense because I'm the offensive coordinator, but um, it feels like there are too many face mask penalties. The truth is, I get like I don't know seven or eight a season and that may not be more than it feels high i'll just say it that way it feels high they also come in bunches like i'll have two or three in a single game and then i'll go four or five games without any called so um but anyway that's my uh game rules <clears throat> and these are the options that i work off of all american on offensive and defensive i know um some of you might say that you know you don't play heisman well all American, and this is pretty well established. You get the best uh, representation of the player ratings. Um, obviously, if you're a gamer and you you you, know, you take the quarterback and and you choose who to pass to and you play on defense and all that, um, then you probably want to play Heisman, right? Because you you want the you want more challenge. 
But the way I play, I do the coach mode. I just call the play, and, and they snap the ball and run it. And uh, I just I watch the – really, I'm watching the computer play against itself. And so what I want is the most accurate representation of the player ratings. And playing on Heisman, it's almost like everybody is 99 and everything. <laughs> Uh, whereas all American gets it a little closer to that. Um, user versus user skill is set at varsity, but I don't ever play user versus user, so that doesn't matter. Uh, and the quarter length, it's nine minutes. Is um, if I'm playing, coaching both sides, right? So if I'm if I'm the head coach, I coach offense, I coach defense. Then nine minutes gets me the closest to that 120 play mark. Um, but as a coordinator, I lower that to eight minutes because the sim when it does the super sim that just runs faster than it does when you play the game so that's what i have set there um game speed normal and then the speed threshold is zero i like for the <clears throat> the player speed rating to really show on the field so that's why i have it set that way so um so those are my slider settings gameplay settings um if you you know have any questions feel free to post those uh and again i'll post a link to my to the uh, to the sliders that I use, I you know, I got from Operation Sports. Uh, I do also have. I'm gonna pull those up. Um, a couple videos of my recruiting. I think somebody wanted to see that, so I thought we pull that up. Let me remove my face cam so we can watch this. And this is just kind of how I do. This is the preseason of this year, the 2016. I'm coming off of the Rose Bowl win, Pac-12 championship. So um, I go right into recruiting, and I do have a couple kind of uh, house rules for myself. I generally only will, will target no more than 25, and I try to sign only two more than what I'm the number of seniors I'm losing. So as you can see, I've got 13 seniors. Um, and this is, by the way, I'm commenting on a video. This is a video I took of me recruiting. Um, so I, you know, I'll try to sign about 15. <clears throat> and um, obviously, like anyone else, first thing I'll kind of look at is my needs. Uh, I, I, but by the way, I'm not a recruiting expert. <laughs> I'm just, I, and everything I do, I've pretty much copied. So I do need a quarterback. So I, of course, do the pocket passer. That's just the way I play. I don't like my quarterback to take off running. Um, here you see Andy Sanders is a four star. I'm fourth on his list, so I'm gonna go for him. Um, and I, you know, I, I, with, with quarterback, I'll, if I'm, if I'm needing a quarterback, I'll go target three or four, you know? Um, and so here I'm kind of scrolling through the list, looking at options. Uh, there you see another interest. I'm tops on this player's list, Larry Marshall. I like his height that's six, five two eighteen range. That's the ideal height weight for a quarterback. Um, Coley's a little smaller and Aaron Bush is a little smaller. Uh, as you can see, I look around and I'm thinking um, Marshall is, you know, he's a good solid. He would be a solid quarterback, but Sanders is the guy I'm really going to want. He is only six feet, but, you know, four stars. Um, kind of hard to turn that down. You look at the ratings. Uh, Bush is a 66. Coley is a 67. So even these guys, even though these guys are further down the list, um, they're not bad options, you know, if I ended up with them. Um Sometimes when I get later in the process, I might, you know, go after a five star who's low, who has a low lock percentage. Uh, here we see there's another guy, Teddy Thompson. He, here I got, I looked at his height, 6'4", 196. Um, yeah, that's about, that's the sweet spot of, you know, the height weight ratio. I think I ended up, yeah, I went after, decided to go after Thompson. And um, so I targeted, I think I ended up targeting four. Yeah, four quarterbacks. Um, and again, I don't sign, I try to avoid signing full 25 players. Uh, so what I usually do is when I get a quarterback or two signed, when I have a need of a quarterback, I'll go and, and um, drop the other two that I was looking at. So there's, uh, now I'm looking at uh, offensive linemen. I need guards. So... I set the pass block uh, tendency, and then I do use the squat thing where you, you sort them by squat, and then I'll go after a couple guys, the top, you know, because this for whatever reason, the game, when you look at squat, it's uh, it, it's a, ra a huge ratings boost. Um, I, one thing to also keep in note, I am still a two-star program. 
So I don't get as many of the top players interested in me. Um, it it kind of makes me, forces me to make sure that I'm at least getting my needs, right? So I want to go after four or five star players, and I will. I'll throw a four star in there, as you just saw. Um, but I got to make sure that I can fill my squad first. <clears throat> and uh, defensive tackle was another need I had. Um, so here, sort by rank, just to see if anybody in the, you know any of these top ranked players are interested. As you can see, they're not. <laughs> Um, but a lot of them do have those low lock percentages, which I know it's the first four week of the season, so you can only pay so much attention to that. Um, it's actually the preseason. So, um, so defensive tackle, I, I, I got to have some. So I go and find the ones who are actually interested. Again, I got to make sure that I fill my needs, and defensive tackle was an actual need. So definitely go after that three-star guy. Um, I don't remember what I did after that. Yeah, then I just go back to any, and I think I sorted by lock percentage, even though, again, it doesn't really matter at this point. Yeah, I just start, I just start throwing guys in. Like, I, I, I'm not even going to try for those five-star players. So I look for, um, yeah, low lock percentage. Sort by 40 times. I like speed, you know, like anybody else. And so if I get the guy who the fastest d tackle i can find so i think that had five targeted yes yeah, i need two at least uh, well i'm graduating to and i like to have five defensive tackles so um so they're looking at the rest of my list i see i need help in the secondary which i, I need help there anyway but i've also got players who are graduating but first i think i go yeah i look at middle linebackers so let me see what middle linebackers are interested Again, limited options, but at least they're three stars. So I go target one, um, and then I just go any. And I think I go looking for speed, which I already has sorted by speed. So, so then I go look at rank. Yeah, go back look at speed, <laughs> and pick a couple guys there. What I like to do, it's funny, in this game, for some reason, the middle linebackers tend to be faster than the outside linebackers. So I'll sign middle linebackers and and move them to outside just so that I can get that speed. Uh, I haven't yet tried recruiting secondary players and moving them to linebacker. Uh, and there's a, yeah, so here I'm looking at cornerbacks. Again, need help in the secondary. Yeah, I'm graduating two, two corners, uh, and I'm graduating a free and a strong safety. So, yeah, I can. I don't know that they they may still do this. I don't follow recruiting as much as I used to, but uh, in the former era at Tennessee, they would they would sign a bunch of safeties and running backs and move them to linebacker. I haven't really tried that in this game. I probably should just to see what happens, but I'm sure it would cause their rating, their overall rating, to just plummet. Here's Rogers. I don't like his speed, so I really did not want to target him. So here's a really fast two-star guy. I figure two stars that you know should have a decent chance at a two-star player, and he's super fast. So I'll go for that. And then I believe there was a really fast guy in in yeah Vaughn there. I don't know that I ever target him actually. Oh, I did. Yeah. And there's, yeah, that Jackson. I went ahead and targeted him just because, again, I, I try to fill my needs. And it is a strong safety. So, um, so then I go look at my list. And as you can see, I've got 25. And that's where I try to keep, you know. And, well, here's where I scout. I scout all the guys I target. Some people scout before, but I don't know. I when it's the preseason, which there's a big see that guard. He was one of those that benefited from that squat uh, rating boost. Um, but I in the preseason, I don't want to waste all the like you get free scouting points, so I don't want to waste those on guys 
that I'm not even going to recruit at all. So I just pick my 25, scout the 20, and then go into the first week and see what we got, which I have a video on the first week, I think, where we where you, we just look and see. We look through my, my list of targets. And here's Porter, free safety. He was a JUCO. I will say I, I typically don't recruit JUCOs, but that's um, here I'm the offensive coordinator, not the head coach, so I guess I'm not as worried about it. Like, I don't plan on being at Washington State more than this year. I plan on moving on after, after this season. Maybe I'll stay one more, depending on how it goes. Uh, I'd like to get Leach up higher. Get the Washington State program to maybe three stars, so we'll see. And yeah, here I think I'm looking, trying to figure out where to spend my last scouting percentage points. <clears throat> I guess I didn't like my list of quarterbacks, so I went and found one more. That's where I added a fifth target, and it was Coley. I couldn't, I couldn't just pass on Coley because he was I'm tops on his list. Um, so that's how I handle the preseason. That's my basic strategy. Um, let me pull up the video where I. Yeah, this video is not very long, but this is after week one, <clears throat> gone into the first week, and just to kind of show you where I sit with some of these guys. So Lewis, uh. Not in great shape, but as you can tell, most of them I aim in first place. So I put 500 on my top 12. All right. Um, well, I went through and offered scholarships, I guess I should say first. I offered scholarships to pretty much everyone. Um, and except for Marshall, because again, I, I only sign one or two quarterbacks but I had five targeted so when I get a couple commitments I'm going to drop the other so I, I offer scholarships to my top two quarterbacks um, and one thing I also do I look through this list of guys that I'm not going to give any points to I keep them on my list just because you get a little boost just from having them on your list but I also look for any player where I'm more than a thousand points down I drop them it's not worth the effort to try and make up that 1000 especially not with a uh, a team who is three star. Well, I'm a two star reputation team. So uh, instead of putting in effort to make up a over an, an over a thousand point deficit, I just I go put that towards somebody else, somebody that I ha actually have a chance of signing. Um, I think that was pretty much it. Let's see if there was what this video was. Oh. Uh, yeah, so this is this is uh, also I I'll pause that for a second. Um, the way I, of course I run you know an air raid type offense, and so and the way they operate, they have they have an X receiver, an H, a Y, and a Z, and I set up my depth chart to make sure that I the like the players I want to play in those positions are in those the for the most number of formations, um, which may not make sense, but that that's kind of what I do and then I go through the formation subs and make sure that every player is in the position I want them to be so just for example the X is here is that's the 84 number 84 he's my X receiver 89 is my H 15 is my Y and 88 is my Z and of course 36 is, is the F but he's the, that's just the tailback so <clears throat> The way the offense that I like to run works is X and Y are, they're locked. So only the H and the Z receivers move around. So I set up my formation subs um, to make sure that's happen that happens. That's how it works. And that's the, right there, shotgun spread flex is the, the basic, that's the ace formation. That's the base formation. Um, so that's, that's, spread where the Y drops into the slot and I think I look at all of the yeah the spread uh, with this with the halfback on the weak side um this is the he calls it dart dart formation double flex but that's where X drops and H steps up <clears throat> uh, let's see if I look at the trips yeah I think that's where I go next 
So this is trip and H, 89 is my H. So in trip, H just moves across. Um, moves across, plays between Y and Z. Um, that's just what he calls trip. And again, even with the back on the other side, it's the same. And then let's see if we look at trips open. Yeah, and then this is what we call flip. And here, Z has come all the way across to fill in the slot on this side. So again, X and Y are static. They stay the same, and H and Z move around. And that's really how formations in the leech raid offense is set. So um, I had to go through, as you can tell, I used up almost all of my formation subs to make sure that happens. Actually, in where I am right now in my game, I've simplified my playbook a little bit to where it's really just kind of the basics but the principles are still the same. Um, I don't show the split back formations, but it's the same with those, except for H drops into the backfield, and so Z is the only guy moving across. Um, so that is a quick look at my sliders, my early recruiting, and uh, look at my how I handle my formation subs to get the air raid formations accurate. Um, this is Vol Force One, and the next episode will be my season opener against Boise State, so we'll see you then.